So I was getting in my car the other day, right? So I open the door and as I'm sitting down, the door comes swinging back and hits me. Fatality. <laughs> right there next to my eye. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 36 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on a channel. If you guys are new to the show and want to submit your desk setup, make sure to watch the video linked down below. But with that said and done, let the setup wars begin. Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. As always, everyone's setups will be linked down below along with anything I recommend in this episode. So here are your five lucky contestants. We have Heyo, Kirk, Robin, Toby, and Yazid. Congratulations for making it to Setup Wars episode 36. First up, we have Heyo or Hao or however you pronounce it uh, with two Asus 24 inch monitors hooked up to the mounted arm. On the desk, we have the Ducky Shine 3 mechanical keyboard and a Logitech G502 mouse on top of the Perix aluminum mouse pad. Also on the desk, we have a pair of Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers. Uh, cables aren't visible, so you won't hear any complaining from me today. Uh, the PC powering the setup has an i5 4670K paired with a GTX 960 inside the sexy NWIN 901 case. I think if I see this case enough, I just might do a build in it. Pretty clean setup overall, thank you Heyo for entering. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. Kirk is next up with a productivity setup that's powered by a 2012 Mac Mini. We have two 25 inch HP monitors on top of the Alex add-on unit, a wireless Apple keyboard, and a Logitech Performance MX mouse. For recording audio, we have the Blue Spark microphone hooked up to the Rode PSA mic arm and also a pair of Bose speakers. Cable management is very clean and I like the hanger placement for your ATH M50Xs and the USB hub that you have attached on the roof of your desk. Although I would use cable drops instead of the blue tack to keep them attached. I also like the addition of the cable box to hide your power strips. Now this is a really great setup, but honestly the only thing that it's lacking is the color coordination. You have black and red skins on your phone with orange skins on your MacBook and an orange microphone. I'm sure with some minor changes, I feel like this setup can be perfect, but regardless, thank you Kirk for entering Setup Wars. At number 3 we have Batman and Robin with a triple display setup. Three ISO 23 inch monitors, a Razer Black Widow chroma keyboard, and a Mad Cat's Rat 7 on top of the SteelSeries mouse pad. Off to the right side we have a 32 inch Philips Smart TV for console gaming with not only a PS3 but a 4 as well nearby because why not? Cable management is pretty tidy, I mean at least they are off the ground so good job with that. The PC that's powering this entire setup appears to be an all black build rocking a 4770 k and an asus gtx 980. other than fixing up those cables behind your monitors and using cable jobs to keep your charging wires in place i think this is a beast of a setup thank you robin for entering toby mcguire is next up with a very beautiful and clean dual display setup we have two 24 inch dell monitors mounted against the wall with a Corsair K70 RGB keyboard and an MX Performance mouse on top of the IKEA Linman desk. I gotta say, presentation speaks for itself, from the LEDs to the symmetry, by having the M audio speakers on each side, all the way to the monitors and cable management. Job well done indeed. Although I wish you would have taken some pictures of your PC so we can take a closer look at that beast. Honestly, the only two things I can recommend is a drawer that you can install under your desk to keep your remote and other stuff in, and an extended mouse pad so you don't end up scratching the desk and wearing off the rubber under your mouse. Very impressive Toby, thank you for entering. Last but certainly not least, we have Yazid's setup and holy shit, guys, I don't even know where to start. So this is Yazid's second time on Setup Wars and he has improved this setup since episode 19. I guess we can start off by the monitors. So we have three Asus 27 inch ROG Swift monitors, a Corsair Gaming Strafe RGB keyboard, and a Red Dragon M801 Mammoth mouse on top of the Reflex mouse pad that I'm actually using for my setup as well. Also on the desk we have a pair of JBL Pulse speakers that can change colors to match the current color scheme. And off to the other side near his Beast PC, which I will go over soon, we have some consoles. An Xbox One and a PlayStation 4 which are skinned in black and red from D brand. This dude definitely has taste. We also have an MOV headphone hanger holding up the Sades gaming headset and an Energizer controller stand which doubles as a charger. Now let's take a look at that PC. So this thing is running on a 5960X 8-core processor, two GTX 980s hooked together with the ROG Enthusiast SLI bridge, 
and 32GB of DDR4 RAM from Clev. The cable management game is also strong, no cables in sight, everything is neatly wrapped together and attached to the rear monitors. Everything from the color coordination, the LEDs, to the gear choices, and even the background just screams perfection. This is by far the best setup I have seen on setup boards, and honestly, it's going to be extremely tough to beat this year. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this on my top setups of 2016 later this year, but it's always a pleasure to have you on the show, Yazid. Thank you for entering. So that's it for this week's episode of Setup Boards. You guys know what to do. Make sure to drop your comments down below and vote on who has the best desk setup although it's pretty much obvious who's going to win this episode. Uh, I will announce the winner, as always, on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram account, so make sure you guys are following me there if you want to know who wins. But anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy Setup Wars, make sure to show your support by slapping the crap out of that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.